Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. I authored um, study manuals under brand name BTDT for exams PFM, IFM and LTAM and also teach online seminars for those exams. You can find the seminar information at smarturl.it forward slash btdt dash online. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students at Illinois State University, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam P on probability. Claim amounts for wind damage to insured homes are independent random variables with common density function, uh, which is 3 over x to the fourth for x greater than 1 and 0 otherwise where x is the amount of a claim in thousands. Suppose three such claims will be made. What is the expected value of the largest of the three claims? Based on the information we have, we can find the cumulative distribution function of random variable x, and it's 0 for x less than or equal to 1, and then for uh, larger values of x, for x greater than 1, f sub x of x is equal to the integral from 1 to x of 3 over t to the fourth dt. So the integral of 3 over t to the fourth is minus 1 over t cubed. And that evaluated from 1 to x gives us 1 minus 1 over x cubed for x greater than 1. Let us write x1, x2, x3 for three claims that for which we know that they have this distribution. And let us write y for the largest of these claims. y is the largest order statistic of the sample x1, x2, x3. The largest order statistic f f um, for a random sample from this uh, probability distribution. The cumulative distribution function of uh, y is 0 for y less than or equal to 1. And for y greater than 1, f sub y of y is the probability that y is less than or equal to y, which is the probability that maximum of x1, x2, x3 is less than or equal to y. But when maximum is less than or equal to that number, then every single one of them is. So this is the same as probability that x1 is less than or equal to y, x2 is less than or equal to y, and x3 is less than or equal to y. And in fact, those two conditions are equivalent, so that's why we can just write this as equal, because when all of them are less than or equal to y, then maximum is, and when maximum is, all of them are less than or equal to y. Because this is a random sample, they're independent, uh, the pro probability of intersection is a product of probability, so this is the probability that x1 is less than or equal to y times the probability that x2 is less than or equal to y times the probability that x3 is less than or equal to y. And based on the calculation we did of the uh, cumulative distribution function, this is the same as 1 minus 1 over y cubed, cubed. And the survival function of y is therefore 1 for y less than or equal to 1, uh, because the CDF is 0 there. And then it's 1 minus the CDF, so 1 minus 1 minus 1 over y uh, cubed. Uh, cubed. And we multiply it out, that, that cubed expression, so that becomes 1 minus 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared times 1 over y cubed plus um, 3 times 1 times 1 over y cubed squared minus 1 over y cubed cubed. And if you calculate it out, that becomes 3 over y cubed minus 3 over y to the 6th plus 1 over y to the 9th for y greater than 1. Also, s sub y of y uh, is 1 for um, y between 0 and 1. And of course, this random variable is greater than or equal to 0 uh, with probability 1. So it's non-negative almost surely. 
So we use the Darth Vader rule to calculate the expected value, and that's equal to the integral from 0 to plus infinity of the survival function, which is the integral from 0 to 1 of uh, 1, uh, plus the integral from 1 to plus infinity of 3 over y cubed minus 3 over y to the 6th, uh, plus 1 over y to the 9th. And that's the first integral is, of course, 1, and the second one, well, the integral of 3 um, uh, times y to the negative 3 is minus 3 halves times y to the negative 2. The integral of uh, 3 times y to the negative 6 is 3 fifths times y to the negative 5. Well, actually, minus in both cases. So minus 3 halves y to the negative 2 minus uh, 3 fifths y to the negative 5th, but we have minus in front of uh, 3 y to the 6, that's why the second expression has a plus. And then my, uh, the integral of y uh, to the minus 9th is minus 1 over 8 times y to the negative 8. And we evaluate that expression from 1 to plus infinity. At infinity, all of them are 0. So all we need to do is just subtract the values at 1. So we get 1 minus minus 3 halves, so plus 3 halves minus 3 fifths, minus minus 1 eight, so plus 1 eight, and that is equal to 2.025. Now, you could have calculated the, the density and used the density to find the expected value, but you know how I like the Darth Vader rule, so you would have to do a substantial amount of work either way, and, well, there is some work in this problem, that's all I'm saying. Answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.